Hello everyone! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Lighthouse build Kronstadt, which is one of the new builds with the new Commander Tree uh, rework. And well, overall, the idea is to increase your DPM as much as possible at the cost of concealment. So there are a few skills that kind of work together to achieve this and if you take the right modules you have um, quite quite a damage focused ship. So um, <clears throat> Kronstadt is a ship that is no longer available so uh, I do admit that it's quite strong and it's impossible to get these days but to those of you who have it I can still highly recommend um, this ship. Um, so just a quick look at the ship before we start, okay, we've got uh, nine Soviet 305 millimeter guns, not quite Stalingrad guns, but uh, close. You have a very high velocity, and you can reliably sit at almost BBs at around 15 kilometers if they give you their side. The whole ship is coated in 27 millimeter armor, so while you can bounce some AP shells, a lot of AP shells are going to be able to overmatch uh, almost every part of the ship, as well as a lot of HE shells but you do have a cheeky kind of bulkhead through the bow, so you won't take citadels through the nose. Um, the ship has a lot of HP, as you can see, 71,000 uh, HP. Uh, it's a, a ship I quite enjoy. So, uh, let's move over to the build. Now, first thing you notice here is my concealment. 18.1 kilometers. So, what the hell is this? You can see... Um, once ADD just approaches um, the caps, he's going to see us. So uh, what we're playing is um, we're playing main battery um, modification three, in the last slot, the DPM skill. But it's possible to swap that out for range. Um, I'm still on the fence about that. Uh, steering gears mod two, steering gears mod one for maximum um, turning capacity. Aiming systems mod one. Uh, the extra radar duration and main armaments modification one so we have no concealment from our uh, modules but the ship really turns fairly well now skills I'm playing grease the gears um, pyrotechnician for extra fire chance I'm going to be firing a lot of HE consumable enhancements for extra radar and then in the third line um, heavy HE and SAP shells so extra um, HE damage in return for some concealment. Um, adrenaline Rush, heavy AP shells for an extra 5% AP damage. Um, the AP shells are quite powerful here, and buffing them is really good. Superintendent for that extra heal. And in the last line, we're going to take um, top grade gunner. So if we're spotted, we'll get minus 8% reload. So it's a very DPM focus, but look at that reload around 15 seconds. Now, um, I'm immediately spotted, obviously. So you really want to kind of uh, turn the ship as much as you can and take a kiting position. Um, Kronstadt cannot dodge everything. You can dodge um, a lot of shots, but some ship, uh, some shots are going to connect. Um, that's why I try and play wisely with my four heals. Um, and also I'm running Kuznetsov. Um, we don't have um, fire prevention. We don't have basic survivability like we used to in the past, so you really don't want to take too many shells. You really want to dodge most of the stuff. So, oh, seven overpens on the Alaska. Would be nice if we had one citadel, some kind of penetration. Now look how fast the shells travel. Um, he's giving us a flat broadside. We're hoping for a, a, a citadel or something. Um, no. Um, you can see that Kronstadt's um, dispersion, uh, while not terrible, certainly, it's just a little bit iffy sometimes. So you're certainly going to hit stuff, but you're not going to get that uh, pinpoint um, Stalingrad. There's a nice cellar, but again, no, no juicy hits. You're not going to get really juicy Stalingrad level dispersion, but uh, it's, it's workable, certainly. So ooh, somebody broke our turret there. And now we're on HE, now that Alaska is um, angling away. Our team is kind of passive on A, where there's a bit of a fight over B. Um, 
Sepa Oster Jotland is able to disengage safely. Uh, there's our fire on the Alaska. Um, while um, Crunch Duds. Let's hope we can get the kill with a, um, with Kuznetsov. It's an extra heal for us. It's very important for this kind of a build. Let's see. But I think someone else got him. Yes, the Bagration got him. So, yeah, we're in a nice um, kiting position as Jean Bart there is um, pushing. I don't think he's intent on shooting us. Um, the York is taking some pot shots. And behind the island there, um, on nine line, we have Nagato and uh, Iowa. Yep, the Jean Bart is uh, pulling back. So no threat to us, and no need for us to push him. Or we'll try and shoot him. So, as my team is going down A line, uh, we're trying to, trying to go in the opposite direction for some crossfire. Now, there's the Nagato. Have AP loaded, and we pop the all-important spotter plane for the 189 kilometer shot. So our shells are quite monstrous and he doesn't actually appear to be moving at all. So we'll just shoot him right in the middle of the ship. His broadside, we can definitely get through his um, his armor belt even at this range. Yep, the enemy team is two ships down. Now in go the rounds, that was a tasty salvo, certainly. Five fits at this range. There he is again. I think he shot at me again, so we're going to slightly dodge. Look at that rudder shift. Um, we're going, we might take some damage, but nothing too catastrophic. Oh, 20k <laughs> on that Nagato. Just look at those guns. And again, see how punishing that reload is. You can just keep continue pumping out damage. And in they go. That was probably another 8k or something. And now here we're just chilling, we're in a very good position. Um, you're going to take some damage when, when BB shots um, connect. Um, you're going to take some damage like that, well, 11k. Um, all you want to do, you just want to trade favorably. Uh, enough with the overpens. So many overpens. York is still reversing, so we'll take another stab at it. <clears throat> And just more overpens. This is, uh, I, I think I'm not arming in the broadside, um, York. One more shot. I'm going to have to move out from here. Because people are slowly starting to zero in on us. And ricochets. That was a little bit unlucky. All those shots on the York. Um, a flat broadside German cruiser at these kind of ranges versus such monstrous um, high velocity rounds that go very flat, you're, you're going to get a lot of um, overpens. Now see here, I cannot reach the Iowa or the Nagato. This is where perhaps the range upgrade would help me more than the DPM upgrade. Um, it's something that you could certainly um, swap. I still haven't made up my mind as to which is better. But um, so far with the spotter plane, I've been doing well and the reload. Now, let's see, we do have C cap, the enemies have B cap, and it's two ships down, and it looks like we're going to lose A. So, uh, I'm going to write off Nagato and Iowa, I'm going to try and move into the middle of the map where I can either shoot the guys at B, and slowly punish the guys who are going to inevitably push through A after they've capped it. Um, I really don't know what that Atlanta is trying to do there, at um, A4. I hope he doesn't get spotted. Oh, and there's a broadside uh, Friedrich. Let's see. Um, German BBs are so lovely to shoot um, in the side. Uh, any range. Um, I mean, Kronstadt can penetrate. Uh, he's built even at this range. Um, you can shoot the superstructure. That's your big juicy target to um, farm damage off. Let's see. Did we hit him? Nope. No luck. Must have gone into the island. Uh, there's a wealth of targets here, and I generally want to shoot at targets where I can use my AP. Um, the HE is serviceable, but the AP on Cronchat is far better than the um, HE rounds, that's for sure. So Friedrich is giving us his broadside. We're going to try and kite away again. We don't want to get caught in the side. Um, Cronchat has a very large citadel above water. You don't want that to get hit. 
Now, notice that shot from the Monarch. He set us on fire for 47 seconds. That is the lack of basics of survivability. So if I heal it and he shoots me again, he might get a double fire. Um, if I let it burn, he's going to get quite a bit of HP off me. Um, but um, this is just the way super cruisers work now. You really don't want to get set on fire. There's just no, no two ways about it. So let's see. Uh, he appears to be giving us a tasty broadside as well. Let's see what we can do. Our guns are certainly capable of uh, citadeling him. Let's see. Let's have a look. Nope. I think he threw our aim off. It was going a bit slower. No, there we go. Citadel at 15 kilometers. So, you can see just how... Um, I slowed the video down there. You see just how um, hard and fast the shells go. We're at normal speed now. Um, a 15k salvo on a BB at 15 kilometers plus a citadel is uh, really impressive by anyone's uh, measure. Yeah, there's the Friedrich. More shells. I mean, even even if he angles, um, if you aim carefully, unless he's aim he's angled really well, you can just put shots into his superstructure. Now, um, truth be told, Riga is um, also an inviting target. Let's see what we can do. Better to shoot the cruisers. Um, we can shoot the BBs later. An okay hit on uh, Riga. And again, Friedrich, the Riga is angled. So see, I, I lose HP to almost every BB salvo, but it's uh, manageable. See, I hit him for 10k. I'm certainly out trading uh, this Friedrich. Um... You can out-trade a lot of BBs in this thing, um, even without this build, especially um, with this build. 4k, it's rapidly going down. And here I'm hoping to catch the Samelfi off guard. Uh, he's not really intent on turning, he's threatening to turn. Let's see. Nope, ricochets. Just one penetration. And we're at a very juicy 100k, and there are still so many ships here to shoot at. So. You really rack the damage up quite quickly. Oh, that was some friendly fire from Kronstadt. From, um, sorry, from Odin. Got some good damage on um, the Friedrich. Now I insta heal the fire, he insta repair, and I hope he doesn't set me on fire the, the next salvo. Uh, we still have one repair left. Let's see. And then we have uh, Kuznets of uh, Super Saiyan mode to protect us. So apparently our team on C, I was hoping they'd be able to kill the Nagato and the Iowa. They just pushed straight down and were unable to kill both enemy BBs. They've escaped, so we're actually slightly behind on material and on caps. So we're really going to have to make the difference with our DPM. Friedrich, though, was almost down. Let's see. It'd be nice to finish him. And yes, the Odin does finish him off for us. And there's this Riga who is playing this long-range gunboat game. Um, he's maneuvering, so not worth really firing AP at him. Let's see what we can do with our HE and our monstrous reload. Ah, oh, finally, Nagato goes down. I'm Alfie now, a bit tastier than that um, Kaitic Riga. See, yep, and I've switched to AP. Let's see what we can do. Maybe he makes a mistake. You see how I'm constantly moving, constantly working the rudder. Um, you really need to be on the move with this build. Everyone is going to want to take a pot shot at you. So even when you're not under direct fire, you kind of expect to be fired upon and you want to keep your ship moving as um, in the most unpredictable manner possible. Try not to make yourself predictable if somebody is just observing the way you turn. And many of us um, kind of fall into a pattern. Um, I certainly do this when I shoot enemy ships, especially cruisers that uh, like to turn. 
and people usually follow a, a predictable pattern. So down goes the Amalfi. And I think the rig actually is turning out at the wrong moment. Let's see. Oh, could have done a bit better. He's turning in again. We're on Confederate. It means we've damaged a lot of enemy ships. 14k HP. Um, soon we might have to um, pop our last heal. Rig is turning again. Let's hope he turns into our shells. He follows through with a turn. And I think there we go. 13k plus a citadel. These shells can um, sit at almost anything at any range, um, as long as it's broadside. And we can actually overmatch things like Neptune and uh, Minotaur. That pays to keep in mind. Yep, that rig is going down. He actually hasn't repaired our um, citadel damage. We broke his engine. And the enemy, though, still have uh, those two Iowas. There we go, down he goes. So one of those Iowas is certainly quite healthy. I can't see the other one. And uh, Jean Bart is low. And they're converging on B. So um, it'd be kind of uh, silly to go straight into B. Uh, Kronstadt is not a very good boat tanker. Yep, there's the other Iowa. He's also quite healthy. Um, you don't want to boat tank or just be in any position where BB shells will hit you repeatedly. You just cannot tank for extended periods. Um, you really need to tank in a controlled way because you're going to be bleeding HP. So I'm going to try and take this uh, C line ish into D. Try and get behind these guys because we still have a lot of ships out there at. Um, D2, D3, so maybe I'll try and create some crossfire. We're at almost 200k, and there is Kuznetsov, uh, Kuznetsov's Super Saiyan mode. We're going to get a free heal, um, half a heal. Um, it's going to give us just some leeway to be able to make maybe one more play. Um, now look at that um, potential damage, 3.4 million. That's a lot of shots that came our way. We dodged a lot, quite a lot of the rounds actually did hit us, so you need to be smart the way you use your repairs and kind of time Kuznetsov. You want to proc him um, when you want him to proc um, most of the time, so you have some control over, um, over what's going to happen to your ship. So here he kind of procced by accident, um, so I didn't really take advantage of the uh, debuff to um, enemy dispersion, but be that as it may. Um, we still have around 10k, that's about 3, three BB rounds. Um, so, let's see what we can pull off here. We can certainly Citadel the side of an Iowa at these ranges quite easily. Iowa has a large Citadel, so it's something we're going to aim for. Now, I don't know why I pressed a smoke screen, but uh, we'll see. So, yep. That I always almost flat broadside. Let's see. Nope, he's not flat anymore. I'm asking him to come and help us to help create some crossfire. That Pommen is in a pretty bad position. So I wasn't aiming at us. So we switch to HE at this angle. Definitely. And see what we can farm off him. Pop a preemptive radar here just in case the DD is close or maybe the um, Iowa will uh, stumble into our radar so we have an idea where he is. See, two hits, 9k. We are almost done for. Now, thankfully, he's uh, angling against the rest of our ships. I think that line and the Odin uh, spooked him. So we get just a little bit more free damage. There's no point stopping to shoot. Our concealment is 18.2 are going to be spotted anyway. Just maybe we can get behind this island um, in time. Now we have that other Iowa who's also um, slowly pushing. I think somewhere here we will go dark behind the island. And uh, let's see. This Iowa is kind of pushing, um, but he's not too rushed about it. No, he's reversing. Okay. So, either way, we're going to take a stab at him. Here are some torps. That was a lucky dodge. An inadvertent dodge. Uh, he wasn't spotted. 
Um, Iowa now does seem to be accelerating. We are spotted, so the Oster Yotland can see us. He's somewhere there along 910 line. Um, he, we didn't catch him with our radar. Um, now it's uh, the Iowa is probably there he is. the Iowa is probably gunning for us, but uh, I think we can get a worthwhile sell vote before we die. He does take us and in go the rounds. Look at that double citadel. And it propels our damage to almost 210k. Now, this game is almost over. So, let's take final stock of uh, the build. Um, as you can see, 18.2 concealment. Um, the reload is driven to around 15 seconds quite quickly. 14-15 seconds, which is a very good reload for such large... Uh, large guns, such hard-hitting guns, so um, I can highly recommend the build. You deal damage to any target, anything that's broadside, you go for that AP, you're going to really wreck them, anything. Um, I mean, even at close ranges, like under 10 kilometers, you can see Adele, the likes of uh, Kremlin. Um, any other BB, like 15 kilometers, uh, you could probably see Adele at Musashi 15 kilometers if um, you have his broadside. And if something is angled, you just switch to your HE um, with the extra damage from the, um, the Captain Perk. Um, you get OK damage. You fire quite quickly, so you can stack fires as well. So um, overall, a very enjoyable build. You just need to be aware of the squishiness of the hull. You're not going to. You're, you can take huge damage spikes if you're not careful. I think here yeah, we took like um, no citadels or perhaps just one citadel. Just need to constantly turn, take the hits on your deck, take them on your bow, take them on your stern. It's okay, you're going to bleed some life, you're going to deal far more damage um, than you take. So you're really going to be useful to your team. Um, you also have the radar. You're not going to take a radar position early though with this kind of build. Um, certainly not. Um, but the radar is there. Um, and so I think even longer duration with a new upgrade. Um, so I think that's everything I have to say about this ship. And this build, um, let's see. So uh, I think my team will be able to wrap this one up. So um, thank you for watching, everyone. This is a build I can certainly recommend on the Kronstadt. And in the future, we'll also look at some other ships, cruisers and BBs with the newer builds. We'll look at Deadeye as well. Sadly, we have to look at Deadeye. And I'll catch you next time.